Hey guys, what's up? It's time for more Monster Hunter 3. Okay, first off, I have to say a few things. Um, I have already done these missions that I'm about to do in uh, level 4. I've already done Leader of the Ice Pack and the Cold Stones. But what happened is, um, these missions, these videos were kind of connected. And so, um, they were connected, and I actually lost the narration of those two missions, and, um, I didn't know that I had lost it, and I already saved it afterwards. And since I did the Cold Stones mission, it involves mining, I got an item that I needed to make a new weapon. The weapon you see me carrying, which is the Carapace Mace. And so... Uh, I'm pretty. I'm sorry about the fact that I have to do these again, and that you're going to be missing the uh, the cutscenes and everything. But yeah. Anyway, so sorry about that. Um, but I guess when you get here and you do these missions for yourself, you'll see the cutscenes anyway. And I guess it is. It does save a little bit of time for you know me in the video. So anyway, we're going to be doing leader of the ice pack. Now, um, what in this mission you have to hunt a great baggy. A great baggy is pretty much just uh, the ice equivalent of a great jaggy. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and grab our crap here. Um, when you see these dong bombs, be sure to grab these because those are very helpful. Anyway, let's go ahead and just grab almost all the stuff. Let's go ahead and grab. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and eat these rations. You might be wondering what you want those dung bombs for, and uh, let me tell you right now, you do not want to run into what you need them for. Let me just say that right now. Oh, what the heck? Uh, I did not know you could come down here and fish. That's pretty cool. Uh, who are you? Uh, okay, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even know you could come down here. Okay, looks like there's a little shortcut. Uh, when you come to this little sloping off area from the main path, and you can see those vines, you can jump down there and uh, apparently do some fishing here. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, since we're in the cold area, um, you have to drink hot drinks pretty much everywhere you go in here. So as soon as you set foot in area one, go ahead and drink that hot drink. And then uh, come straight to area three. Okay, uh, let's see here. The Great Baggy, this is where I found him the first time, but since... Oh, there he is, right here. Okay, this is the Great Baggy. Okay, now, um... These Baggies are a little bit different than other monsters. Um, like, they're basically the ice equivalent of Jaggies. Um, as you can see, they're, you know, they're blue Jaggies. They're actually a lot tougher than regular Jaggies, and they also have another trick up their sleeve. You just saw the Great Baggy do it. Uh, they can shoot ice at you, and that ice will slow you down, and it will actually, like, put you to sleep for a little bit. So, um, it'll make you move really slowly, like that ice right there. It'll make you move really, really slowly, and then, um, you'll fall asleep in a couple seconds. But anyway, I'm gonna draw him out of that corner so I have a little bit more room to walk around. I'm also gonna use my flash bomb when I can. Uh... Okay, and just watch out for the ice because that stuff is pretty dangerous, right? Poof. Oh, I missed him. He just barely dodged it. I did get it on the bag on the little baggies though, so that's nice. Anyway, you know, as you know, because I lost the first few videos of this place, all these guys are already on my monster list. So before you ask, then yeah. That is uh, they are indeed on there. It's just I had to redo this because of the you know, the narration being lost for some reason. I must not have just, I must have just forgotten to press record or something. But, uh, go ahead and dodge that. He's essentially just a more powerful Great Jaggy with a, a little ice attack that's actually kind of dangerous. But in case you're wondering just how devastating it is, it's pretty weak, actually. But, um, the only big problem with it is just that it puts you to sleep for a few seconds. And so, um... You know, you, they'll get a free hit on you, but it's kind of just like a stun. As soon as they hit you, you're going to wake up, and then you'll be right back in the action. So it's really not too much to worry about, but it's just annoying as all get out. But anyway, I'm um, going to dodge the ice. And of course, the two sub-missions for the Great Jaggy, or the Great Baggy, I should say, are the exact same as the old uh, Great Jaggy one. You know, you stun him, and then uh, you damage his head. And um, since I've already done this, I got, uh, you know, his items already. So anyway, um, okay. 
So I'm, I'm really sorry about uh, having to repeat the mission and not seeing any of the cutscenes. But, you know, when you get here, you'll see them too. So I guess it's nothing too, uh, too much to worry about. But anyway, uh, go ahead and dodge that. I'm just really glad I didn't lose the Gobel narration or anything like that. That would have been horrible. Because it was a 30 minute narration, it would have taken forever to put back together. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking about narrations and losing data and crap like that. And let's get back to the fight. And of course, if you know how to deal with a great Jaggy, and you should, um, you'll have no trouble with this guy. It's just that you have to watch out for his ice attack. And also, I'm a little bit low on Mega Potions, just because um, I was just doing some other stuff uh, aside from this mission and everything. And also, I'm, uh, let me see here, what else have I do, been doing? I have, I'm getting a Royal Claw, you know, the the Royal Ludroth Claw weapon. And so far, I'm trying to get it into Royal Ludroth, the Royal Claw Plus. And the only reason why I'm upgrading that is just because I want to see uh, what you can upgrade, like, it into. And yeah, we're sharpening a mace because that makes so much sense. Okay, anyway, um... There he is. Are you running away still? And these are also the little, like, the harmless enemies. The harmless monsters in this area. These are Peppos. They're kind of like woolly mammoths, which is pretty cool. Because woolly mammoths are cool. Anyway, um... There are side missions, or there's a sub-quest in another mission around here that uh, requires you to collect three of their tongues. Whoa, that was close. Alright. And, um... Okay, just dodge these baggies. You just really don't want to let them hit you with their ice because um, that could screw you over a little bit. Nah, that was... I don't know how I dodged that, but I did. Okay, just go ahead and roar all you want. It's not going to save you. But uh, this mace stays in the green for so long. It's freaking incredible. It really helps against the gobel. If you are having trouble against the gobel, get this mace. It helps so much. I swear. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use... Oh, wait, what am I using a Mega Potion for? I need to just use my first aid kits. Uh, okay, go ahead and drink one. Very quick, 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 quick. No ice, dang it. Ah, ice. All right, well, if you do get hit by the ice, go ahead and drink an energy drink, and you will take all that ice off of you. And, hey, guess what? It's Red Bull. It, it removes debilitating ice off of your body and also gives you wings. All right, anyway, I just had to do that. Anyway, uh... Go ahead and hit him again. But yeah, this thing stays sharp forever, I swear. It's freaking incredible. Okay, looks like we got a little little wyvern tear to drop again. Ah, jeez, that was close. Okay. Uh, if he would stop doing that, that would be wonderful, because then I can actually move. Ah, no! Right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. No, I can't. Okay, here, I'll show you what happens when you fall asleep, I guess. And that's all that happens. You just kind of fall down. Oh, what? He hit me with more ice. That's lame. Alright, and of course, it's just temporary, of course. And you just kind of fall over. It's like, uh huh. I can't move, apparently, because there's a little bit of ice on my body. Uh huh. It sucks to be me. Anyway, um, you can probably just shake the Wii remotes a lot, and then you'll break out of it pretty quickly. So that's all you really need to do. So anyway, I'm gonna get a. Why have I not thrown a paintball on this guy yet? I probably should have. But anyway, um,. Let's see here. What else is there to say? Okay, here we go. Um, there isn't really a whole ton else to say. It's basically just a, a bigger, a slightly bigger blue ice type Great Jaggy. I mean, it's pretty similar to the Great Jaggy. It's just a little bit more powerful, a little bit more fast, and it has an ice attack. And that's really about it. I mean, if you have a good enough weapon and you're good enough with the Great Jaggy, then you're not going to have any trouble with this guy. But, um, anyway, just keep going on. Oh, stop circling me, please. I hate it when they do that. 